Welcome to our third Codesys training video. In this video I want to talk about um, the backup of the project. Um, as you know, in most cases you will install the project on the device uh, via Ethernet during development, which is a great way of doing it. But um, once the development is finished and the project should be spread on hopefully many, many, many devices, you don't want to sit down with every one of them and install the uh, project via Ethernet. So what you can do is make a backup of the Codesys runtime and the project on the device and then use this backup and install it on as many devices as you want. For this you need um, the in the in the driver uh, uh, tree you need the module system and in the module system the module create backup. Let's take a look and um, you don't really need to configure very much. It is preset on runtime files, which is um, the best way uh, to make the backup. If you use special fonts, you can also select runtime files and fonts. And the other thing you need is only the trigger to start the actual backup process. So let's just try that. We are logging in. takes a minute to build and we start okay so backup mode is set to runtime files um, I will disable the auto unmount option because I don't want I want to take a look at the files later on the terminal program so I will set this to inactive and then the trigger to true and that's it now the on the device uh, the code is runtime and the uh, installed application the installed project is uh, being back up, backed up in a user tar file so while this is happening let me show you how you can do um, how you can start the backup process um, within your project because if you don't have um, a device with a dedicated ethernet port um, you most probably are using a USB Ethernet connector. If you have the USB Ethernet connector on your USB port on, of the device, um, you cannot plug in a USB stick, so you take that out. But if you take that out, you cannot be connected to the codices to start the backup process. You see it all uh, um, stucks together a little bit. So, um, if you have a device without Ethernet port, um, all you need to do is go to uh, have a, s a certain settings page or something like that. Um, but you can also do it in code, of course, without a, a dedicated button. But I will just uh, start back up. Okay, I will just use a button now. And all you need to do on mouse click is this create backup and then dot and set the trigger that's it if the user presses this button it's the same as if you are connected and uh, the trigger is activated right here now let's see it's still busy so um, the process is still running but uh, it should be done at any second. It takes a little while and there it is, it's done. Very good. Let's see in the terminal program. Um, there we have our user tar files. Now, um, the process is not as sophisticated that it uh, co completely names the, uh, the files correctly. So once these files are created, it's best to take out the USB stick because the renaming is much easier done in uh, Windows, especially within the MD5 checksum file. So um, the user tar, I'm using an Opus A3 here. So let's go to the USB stick. Um, the user tar file, uh, should be named user underscore opus a3 underscore and then some kind of version I will use the codices runtime version dot gz 
and um, the same thing applies also to the checksum and the five to user underscore opus a three underscore three point five point eight point six dot tar dot jz dot md five okay so the files look good but don't forget within the uh, checksum file um, the file name is also written so this needs to be changed as well I don't really want to do this now you can do it with the V editor in Linux but it's much easier to do it um, in Windows where you can open the MD5 file with any text editor and just substitute user with user underscore opus a3 or underscore opus a6 if you're working with the a6 underscore and then some kind of version it can be the code runtime version it can also be your project version and then when you get uh, a new device from us you install the correct operating system and instead of the code as runtime that we provide you with you will use these two files and install the code as runtime and your project uh, in one go and you can um, put the uh, the device into the machine and it's ready to go thanks for watching